Hi guys, um, today I wanted to show you how to cut an applique. Um, so this is an applique eye that I made um, real big to fit the 5x12 hoop. And you can see the P1, P2, and P3 um, that are over here. And before you attempt uh, sewing a split applique, I would um, highly suggest that you get really familiar how appliques work and the positioning stitches and tack down and advancing stitches through your machine. Um, that's going to be really important when you start stitching this down. So this is, um, I would say this is relatively advanced, but it's not too complicated once you get the hang of it. Um, okay, so the first thing that we have to do, um, if, when I, let me show you, when I try to save this, if I do save as, um, and I'm just going to put it on my uh, desktop here, iDemo, um, so what Pro tells me the following color blocks must be cut. So I already knew that color color blocks one, two, and three, which are the placement stitch, uh, tack down, and the satin respectively. They all have to be cut in order for So what Pro to save this and save into um, split files. It tells me the file was not saved. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to select any of these color blocks because I do want to cut through all of them. But it is important to realize um, where you're going to cut through. So what I do here is I will only want this image in two pieces. So I'll highlight P1, and you can see that it puts a red rectangle on my screen. Th this means that this is the position one embroidery area. Um, I'm going to also highlight P3, and you can see how the position three and one have an overlap. So I want to cut it anywhere within this overlap, and I'm going to go right through the middle. So you can leave them highlighted. So what you need to do here is um, pull up the cutting toolbar. So you, you click on this, uh, the scissors icon um, and it's going to say select points here. Um, okay, so you just go around the area you want to cut. And as I said, I'll, I'll cut right at zero, which is the middle, but anywhere within this overlap would be fine. Um, so I'll start right here. I'll cut across. Uh, let me get this down a bit, uh, come down to the edge here, down to that edge, and then um, I don't need to close a polygon. Um, anytime you're splitting anything or you're cutting anything, so what Pro connects those two dots, the first one and the last one automatically. Um, so as long as you know, okay, when they connect, I'm not going to be cutting through my pattern, I'm okay. So you don't have to close it up. So one, two, three, four, and then cut pattern. Um, and now what happened here is now I have, and I'm going to unhighlight these guys, um, but now I have two placement stitch blocks, so the top and the bottom of the eye, um, two tack down, and then the two satins. So when you save it, you will save in um, two files for you in position one and position three. So I click save, and it's, it's going to tell me, um, it's going to save as P1, P2, P3, OK. And now it tells me pattern one um, went to hoop position number one, so it's the top of the eye. Pattern two went to hoop position number three, so I only have two. As I said, I just split it into two, which is fine. OK, so when you're sewing this, um, the way I do it is, is as follows. Um, I will sew. I, place say P1, I will cut a piece of fabric from my applique that is big enough for the entire thing. So that's very important. Um, cut your fabric to cover the whole eye in this case. Then you're going to stitch on your machine, you're going to let it go and you're going to stitch um, the, let me close this, close that, okay. Um, you're going to stitch the placement stitch of your P1 pattern. Then you're going to place the fabric to cover the whole thing. So you need to get a feel for where this bottom is going to be. And, you know, this is very obvious. I mean, as long as you're covering your hoop, you, you, you're going to be okay. So first placement stitch, applique fabric for the whole thing. And then you let it go to the tack down on the number one. So at this point, you would stop stitching your pattern number one move your hoop, start stitching pattern number two in position number three, right? 
then you're going to stitch. I normally skip the placement stitch because it's pointless. Remember, you have fabric already covering this bottom piece over here anyway. So that placement stitch is redundant, but it's okay if you do it. Um, so you go ahead and do the tack down for the second pattern. Um, I would then take the whole thing out of the hoop, trim around my tack down, put it back into the hoop, go to the bottom satin. Remember, um, I, am, I have uh, the second pattern loaded on my machine at this point in time. Um, so you do the bottom satin, and then finally um, you would take it, remove it from the machine, load it into P1. Um, you're going to have to skip or you can sew them again, but it's again, it, it's redundant, but you skip color stops one and two, and you go straight into the satin for the top one. So, so as I said, you do need to get a feel for how your machine works and how to uh, forward colors, you know, so skip entire colors um, before you can do this back and forth, but it's not very complicated. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and happy stitching.